1022. Jeez. 1022. See? And then we're just uh and then we just reset. Now we don't have now I don't have to worry about releasing them. How does that grab you, huh? It's like it never happened. No shiny? What what no shiny? 91 91 eggs hatched? I don't know what you're talking about. You're you're saving the ecosystem, that's right. I I I, I released a certain amount just to just to help them thrive naturally. We've breached 1k. Yeah, dude. It's insane. It's horrible. It's very horrible. I don't know how people do it. They just run around and all of a sudden they just come across a shiny. I mean, that's literally what I, what I did uh, coming across uh, my shinies. And that's only three of them. They just come across it like, like it's easy. It's insane. You know how insane that is? It came to a point where I was watching a friend. Uh, a friend. He was, he was just running around. He was, he was trying to hatch a shiny spring of Thetho as well. He was just chilling. And then there is this group of, uh, a group of, uh, knackles. They're just chilling around a, uh, an item on the ground. And he's, he's just trying to get it, but they're on top of it. He's like, come on, give me, give me the item. Give me the wall. And I'm just, I'm just sitting there looking. like, he doesn't realize that there's a shiny right there, is there? So I had to type it to him. I was like, dude, there's a shiny right there. He's like, oh, oh, oh there's one right there. Oh, look at it. I'm like, how, how, how? There's all these people getting shinies. Some of them don't even realize it. And here I am, getting nothing. 1,022 eggs. I don't know what shinies look like. Exactly. Exactly. What's a shiny even? Some of them are a slight color change. Some of them are slight. Some of them are entirely different. Color-wise. Like, uh, like a furigraph, the, furigraph, the nose and the spine on its back, it's pink here, but a shiny one, it's blue. Which I think is a nice little touch, shiny-wise. Um, it's oink alone here, it's pig, it's pink, the shiny is pink, but then if you go for something like, uh, I, I believe this, the gabite, is it gabite? Yeah, gabite. The Gabite is, uh, I think it's just a darker color. I can't remember the Basculins. Oh! Oh! Look out! They're coming for me! The slight color changes, the very slight color changes are... are annoying because you have to really look and pay attention, you know? The one thing here is like, this this little Pokemon here is a, is a Tatsugiri, right? The thing is, this Tatsugiri has three different uh, variations, right? And then those different variations have their own shinies, which is crazy. So, technically speaking, there's three different, there's six different variations of a Tatsugiri because there's three normal and three shiny versions of it, which is insane. It used to have a, a shiny sound when it popped up, right? That was only for Legends Arceus. That was the only time when they added that. Which just made it so easy. Because all you had to do was just turn all the sounds off instead of the, the sound effects one. And then just fly around until you hear that chime. And then when you do, you just stop, look around for the shiny, and boom! There you are! Get him! Right? And that was it. That was easy. Simple. And then I guess it was so... I guess Pokemon realized that it was too too easy. So they took it out. <laughs> so now, now you have to actively look around. You have to actively just look around and see where the shiny is. And it's tough because you could just be looking the other way. And the Pokemon could just spawn like behind you or something. And you wouldn't even know. Wouldn't even know. I don't think a good way, yet slower, to find other shiny is set your Pokemon with R button. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, with the let's go battle, because there's a, a new thing here. Is we can do, it's, it's like a let's go feature. Where they can run around, walk around around with you. They can walk around, pick up uh, pick up items with you. They can even attack Pokemon. Just like that. It gets, it's it's quick little XP and grind and stuff. It's it's the new feature in, in Scarlet and Violet. 
The cool thing about it is that uh, they, they don't attack shinies, right? So if, if you let one if you let one loose on the shiny, uh, they won't even they won't attack it. So if there if there's a Pokemon that you don't know if it's, if it's a shiny or not, just try and attack it. <laughs> try and end attack it. Then I'll let you know. Uh, Mouse outbreaks is probably still the best, the best one because you you'll you can see the outbreaks. Um, we go. Here you go, there's one uh, mass outbreak for a wingle. And then there's this one for a combi. Down here for a skiddo. Where else? What, what else we got here? Not much today. Oh, up here for a kilowattrel. Yeah, not much today. But yeah, you just go there and then just, just like in uh Legends Arceus, you know, just a whole bunch of wandering around, and then it's limited. Catch or kill the more, and then the let the more, and then it'll just end up disappearing. But there's a there's a trick to it. If you kill or catch 60, it increases your, your chances of uh, encountering a shiny. And there's no time limit to them, right? It's all about the the day. So what you literally, all you literally have to do is just kill or catch six, and then, uh, and then save it. I guess, yeah, save it. And then there's this item called, uh, there's this, like, sparkling sandwich. And you can use that, it increases your shiny, and shiny chance. So you just do that, and that cre increases your shinies to, uh, one in 512. So, full odds... Full odds is 1 in 4,096 around there. With a shiny charm that halves it down to 2,000. And then, uh, and then so if you do the whole thing there, kill, kill six, kill 60. I think that brings that down to 1,000 around there. And then if you use the if you use the uh, the sparkling sandwich, you, you bring it down to one in 512, which is the same odds as uh, as the Masuda method. But of course, the mass outbreaks is a lot better because you're because you have multiple Pokemon popping up rather than uh, rather than just hatching one at a time, you know. So, mass out mass outbreaks is definitely superior in terms of uh, shiny hunting. And even running around if you're not looking for anything specific, any specific Pokemon, just running around because they just they just keep popping up, right? So that's like roll after roll. But it's not the same chances as uh, as the mouse out mass outbreaks in Masuda method. That's when it becomes the uh, the shiny uh, shiny charm if you have a shiny charm, shiny charm odds of uh, one in two thousand. But if you're going full odds and not having the, uh, the shiny charm then it's one in four thousand so you're telling me these there's 978 to go no our chances was uh, mas our chances was the masuda method which is one in 512 so we kind of doubled it but we sh technically we should have technically numbers wise we should have encountered a, a shiny already that's how unlucky I am with shinies. That's how unlucky I am. But yeah, yeah, we've, we've nearly doubled our numbers. And then we're running around here, not finding anything. That's crazy. It's really one of the reasons why I don't shiny hunt. In Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, I, uh, I decided to try and shiny hunt a Shaman when the event came out. And, uh, for two hours a day of, of, of shiny hunting because I, I did it like I would go to bed at that time I would when I went to bed I would just like just just I'll just shiny hunt for a bit you know two hours why not two hours of shiny hunting while I watch uh, watch something on YouTube or something or whatever for bed like why not right did that for two hours and I didn't get a shiny uh, for two months until it finally until it finally popped up into my into the screen and then I'm just like okay okay battle stations everybody battle stations two months 
How insane is that? There's just pe there's literally people out there that uh, find a shiny hunting even when they don't mean it, and they're like, "Whoa, like whoa," and then they just get it. Some people get a shiny right away if they're, if they're looking, and it's insane. You know, like there is this one person that I heard or that I saw on YouTube. They got a shiny sprig of Tito on their twentieth egg. Twentieth. Twentieth egg. They got a shiny Sprigatito. And the guy who hashed a shiny Sprigatito, he was uh, he was doing full odds, so 1 in 4,000. He got it uh, on his, like, he got it at just over 1,000. Around just over 1,000, he got it. Here I am, a pseudo method. 1,022. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. That's, that's pretty much the reasons why I don't shiny hunt. Uh, I am strong. Alright, bring it on. In Monster Hunter, we call it the desire sensor. The desire sensor? It senses your desire for a shiny, therefore you get it. You need that piece... You need that piece in the game knows. So it lowers the odds. But I've been wanting this for so long! I desire it. If I did not desire it, this wouldn't be I wouldn't be doing this on day five. If I didn't desire it would have stopped a long time ago. Heck, I probably wouldn't have even done it. I think you the, the more you desire something, the lower the odds are. Once you don't need it anymore, you get like twenty of them. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Yeah. Screw shinies. We don't I don't want no shinies anymore. We're just gonna cruise around and chat. Who needs shinies? Not me. Shinies are so overrated, eh? Screw that. Exactly. Yup. Know, no shinies here. Shiny what? Shiny useless. There you go. That's 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 it right there. Shiny useless shinies. There you go. Shinies. What are they? What are they good for? Absolutely nothing. There you go. The game knows if you're just lying, by the way. I ain't lying about nothing. I ain't lying about nothing. Who cares about shinies? Not me. Not me. Not, no. What I care most about are uh, six IV Pokemon. You know, that's, that's what I care for the most. Look at this Hitotl just watching. This Hitotl's freaking out, though. Now she's looking at the... I don't know what the heck that Sitadel's doing. I think he's trying to find a way out. Just turn around and get out of here, dude. Oh, trip. Get out of here. That Sneasel wants a piece of me. <laughs> Look at that Sneasel over there. That Sneasel's just waiting. Waiting. He wants a piece of me. Oh, the snow run coming out from, from the hill there. Oh, it's turning around now. Get out of there. Uh, Bergmite. I actually already have a shiny Bergmite in uh, Legends Arceus. Sneasel didn't like his shiny comments. Well, Sneasel can suck it, right? That Sneasel didn't like my shiny comments. It my it just just <laughs> let the Sneasel give give me a shiny, right? It didn't like it. Help help. Let it help convert me, you know. Well, well I'll say that. Look, should it should. Instead of being all pouty, let 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 that Sneasel just just try and convert me and and, and, and get to get some shiny action, you know. Until then, until then, the, that that uh, that Sneasel can go take a hike, eh? Speaking of uh, desire sensor art, I was playing solo the other day, and I needed to make a hundred of a thing. So I'm here processing, and I'm like, oh, I can I can get a chance to get double materials, so maybe I don't need all my, all the materials. Go for like the last 30 processes. Nothing extra. On 99, I get double process. Oh, dang. There you go. Look at that desire. Look at that hiker, though. Freaking hench. It's too real. Yeah. That's happened to me a couple times, too, honestly. I think it's happened to me with, uh, mostly with, with, uh, when I would IV, IV breed, you know? I would, uh,. I would like IV breed and I get I get one six IV. I'm like, oh nice, let's go. I'm like I'm done. Let's go to the next one. 
and all of a sudden it just gives me another one. I'm like, oh, well, there's another one. Just, uh, it's just the same thing with that, uh, that, uh, the one watch roll, that electric bird. That's why I got three, because I hatched, I hatched, uh, I wanted to get a male and female one, right? So I just hatched, hatched two, and I was like, oh, nice. And then it gave me another one. Oh, all right. <laughs> so I went to my cousin, hey, you want a, you want an electric bird? But when it comes to shinies, no, wait, no, 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 we have, we have to, we don't care about shinies. No shinies for us. No shinies. We're just cruising. We're going for a hike. We're enjoying the hike. That is one big citadel. Just going for a nice hike. Nothing crazy. We're just chilling. We're just vibing. What else is there? We're just, we're just having my, my, uh, my beautiful, reliable starter Pokemon just, just wreak havoc on, on, on Pokemon all, all around her. Look at her go. Getting Citadel Grease. And nasty. And then there's a Pokemon chasing me. But you know what? It's okay. Because we don't care for shinies. We're just chilling. We're climbing the mountain to the to the top. We're going on a hike. Going on a trip on our favorite rocket ship. Climbing the icy paths, you know? No shiny to be had. That's fine. Not looking for anything. Alright, and then now we Oh look! We made it to the city. Little town up above the 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 chilly chilly mountain. We are now in uh, Montenevera. Very nice. Alright, now we're going down the mountain, I guess. Look at this go. We're really cruising around out there. A little bunch of sneezles checking me out. I got a really tiny one over there too. Look at that. This got a little little, little baby. Little baby. Got uh, Grievers freaking out over there. He's coming over. Oh, we're oh, going for attack. Oh, those sneezles. Sneezles are cheering, cheering on. We're going to run. I don't want to deal with them. There's a bronzong. Or a bronzor? Bronzor. Got a nice rock. Look at that. Beautiful. Cruising around. Oh, look at that snow run. Snow run's running away. You got something to hide, snow run? Do you? Oh! Jeez. Okay, man, I don't know where did he? Oh, there he is. Hey. How's it going? Got your tail. You know, you know his you know the little the little sack he has? That's his tail. Actually his tail, and he put stuff in his tail. Very interesting, isn't it? Look at him go. Do something for me. Dance for me! Oh jeez. Unchanged, didn't it? Yeah, he's looking around too. Things are pretty sus. Alright. Oh jeez. Sneasel. Sneasel just really wants a piece of me. That's his tail? Yep. That's his tail. It's not a sack that he carries around, it's his it's his tail. So the end of the bag is tied to him? No, it's it's the bag is his tail. Its tail is the sack. I mean, I don't know how to, to explain it. It's just like a kangaroo with a pouch, you know? It's just, it's just there. <laughs> kangaroo, a deli bird with its sack is like a kangaroo with a pouch. Now, that's probably the best way I can explain it. They didn't, they didn't shape it themselves or anything. It's just, that's just how it is. They, didn't, they weren't like, they didn't wake up uh, get born one day and be like, you know what? I'm gonna turn turn my tail into a sack. <laughs> no, it's just that's just how it is. Like, so if you let his tail go, it just look like an empty bag stuck to his butt. Yep, pretty much. It's empty in the wind. Yep. Pretty much. Now um, imagine that. A deli bird not holding on to its to its tail. And it's just flapping in the wind like an empty plastic bag. Imagine that. The more you know, yep, yeah, exactly. The more you know. Oh, that's a that's a big snover. Come over, snover. That's a rhyme, you know. <laughs> Rhyming with champ. Come over, snover. A petcha bear, you betcha. You betcha betcha. Oyster cloister. What's happening, happening? What the fennekin? 
Woo! We're flying high. Let's go down here to the last last little bit. It's 256. Come over, Snowboard, for some leftovers. Ooh! Bars! 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 Did it happen? I wish. The only, the, the only thing that happened was Brendo laying down some bars. But other than that, nothing. Little Dawn fan. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Freaking, at least, at least we can end the stream with, with one, eh? I just realized this one doesn't have, uh, doesn't have false swipe. I need to buy false swipes. One what? One shiny. Is right there. I got some. I think I got Pokemon on me. It's a shiny Sneasel. It, it's the Sneasel. <laughs> that was mean mugging. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. It's the, it was the Sneasel here earlier. That was mean mugging. That's right. Putting you in uh, in a luxury ball. Nice. All right, so we didn't. At least we got something today. Didn't someone mention that you were disrespecting Sneasel earlier? See, I told you it would work. I, I told you it would work, fun. I told you it would work. You talk. You you're talking about. Uh, me disrespecting, uh, you know, the game knows when I'm lying and stuff. So I freaking threw it out there. Threw it out there. Give it the shiny mark. Good to go. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool if it had a mark. That'd be awesome. But yeah, there you go. That means the next Brigadito that hatches, he'd. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, next week when we start Sprigatito hatching, we need to verbally assault it. And then, and then we'll get the shiny. That's that's the trick right there. But everything's... everything's... Check me out now. Get out of here. Well, at least we uh, ended the stream with a shiny. So... Guess, uh... I guess that means I just have to be more toxic, eh? I gotta be a little more more toxic and in, in when I shiny hunt. <laughs> you, you'll you'll see me next week, next Thursday. I'll start the stream and you come in. I'll be like, ah, frickin' spriggin' teeth are heckin'. Ah, this is uh, useless and gonna air for like four hours straight, just just roasting it. That's what. What the heck are they doing with the with the cut chew here? Up on a cliff. That's sus, dude. That's sus. That's sus. Should try to kick me out too. Else, have to report report him to the authorities. We're going to overworld. Act weird sometimes. No, I give. I think it just gives him personality. It just gives him personality. One thing I really liked, I noticed, you know the the stunkies, right? If, if when they're in a group, they they actually like, they actually like like, oh my gosh, they actually like they stand their ground with each other and and, and like freaking scream at you, right? But then when when the stunky when you find a stunky alone, he just runs away. He's scared, which I think is pretty cool. Cause like, when we're together, we are strong, and he's like, he's all alone. He's like, ah, oh, get out of here, run. There you are. All right. Come here. There you go. Okay. Let me let me get a get a good position. Actually, it'd probably be better if I selfie it. See the videos of Viper and Zangus fighting in the overworld? No, I didn't. How is that like in like in the game? Oh my gosh, dude. Now, now, now that they got in position, he's in, where the heck is he? There you are. Come here. In the game code. That's insane. 
Nice, you got a Durant. Oh my gosh, dude, just look at me. I, I need to take a f Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, dude. Why? Sassy, I know. Now he, now he stops. Oh my gosh, all right. Let's just... He's like a child. <coughs> Excuse me. Here, let's... There, let, let, let's go here. It's too snowy. Okay. It's too snowy. Where we go? Here, yeah, right here. Okay. Maybe I need to heal it. If, if, you know what, if, if, if he would just smarten up, then I'll heal it, you know? Yeah? What do you think? <laughs> Trying to take a picture with a black eye. Okay, yeah, fine. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Where'd he... Where'd he go? <sighs> Freaking heck, dude. Come on. Oh, and then he sleeps. You know what? Fine. At least you're not moving around. <laughs> Oh my gosh, now you're too close. This needs to be a montage. There you go. Okay, that- there you go. That's adorable, alright? That's adorable. There, we did it. Shiny. Our first- our first shiny in- in- in weeks. There. Happy? Giving you the disrespect. Yeah, dude. Uh, the human eye sees, a, sees at about 72 frames per second. And the ninja moves about 91,000 <laughs> frames per second. You can only catch him in their sleep. Ninja trying to be caught on camera. Got the zoomies. Well, there you go. We did it. Well, we did something. Get, get into the ball. <laughs> you know what we should do? Save it. Because I don't have uh, autosave on anymore. Here you go. That's actually my first sneasel, shiny sneasel too. So, yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting. Here you go. What the heck? And you got this nerd just pulling up. Look at him. What the heck? And he's trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Hey, what are you doing here? What's going on? I feel like because it's, uh... Paldea being inspired by, like, the... Is the Spanish-European area. I feel like when you say lechonk, it's like a combination of lechon, which is, uh... Which is pork. And then, uh, chonk, which is, you know, is a, is a chonky boy. You gotta, re you gotta... You gotta report a Pokemon abuse. Uh... I don't know what you're talking about. Get out of there! Run!